If the removal in the targeting process of the protections built in and designed to protect civilians, if the, if the removal of those protections is such as to effectively undermine international humanitarian law, then yes, they may arise to violations of international humanitarian law and in certain cases, provided the necessary intent is there, to war crimes as well. There are three main areas of concern. The first is obviously the hostilities themselves, the conduct of hostilities. And that is not just the coalition airstrikes, it is also the fighting in, for example, Taiz, where there is extensive shelling being carried out by the Houthis against the civilian population there. The second area of serious concern is the restrictions imposed by the coalition on the accessibility of the Yemeni population to vital supplies, food, medicine, fuel, etc. And the third area, which is of, I think, considerable concern, is detention. We have found that all parties appear to be carrying out what we believe to be arbitrary detention. The Yemeni people deserve better. They are a proud people with a long, civilized history. And we owe it to them to do everything we can to ensure that their plight is relieved as soon as possible. تتحمل الأطراف المتحاربة مسؤولية ما يجري في اليمن وقد توفر لفريق الخبراء أسباب وجيهة للاعتقاد بأن أفرادا من الحكومة اليمنية وقوات التحالف بما في ذلك المملكة العربية السعودية والإمارات العربية المتحدة وأيضا في سلطات الأمر الواقع بأن تلك الأفراد هؤلاء الأفراد ارتكبوا أفعالا قد ترقى إلى جرائم حرب بموجب القانون الدولي والمؤسف في هذا السدد هو غياب دليل على محاولة أي من الأطراف في النزاع تفادي وقوة ضحايا مدنيين